May 29, formerly Nigeria Democracy Day, now June 12, which has been scheduled for the ceremonial handing over of a new administration. This leads us to the question, Nigeria under a new administration, better or worse? My name is Shalewa, representing Official Guru TV. Let's hear from people on the streets. <laughs> Ijoba to ko gba le adupe lowo Olorun fun ebi akunbe awon mo Nigeria ro gedi if that this new administration the Bola Metinu administration would be a a better of it our uh, predecessor this uh, um, new administration there is no i hopes or um, open they are going to change the wrong that has been made adupe lowo Olorun fun ijoba baba wa Bola Metinu bu ton se wole a mo pe won le dasi you know, once a jagaban, always a jagaban, and I think that is what Nigeria needs to move better. I want to congratulate President Bola Ahmed Tinobu, and I pray this tenure will be a good one. So I really want to hope that this tenure will be a better one. It will be a good tenure because I know it sees everything that is going on in Nigeria. Just to be honest, Tinobu is like the strongest man mentally in the whole of Nigeria. That's why I feel it is positive for him to become the president of Nigeria. Because a society that does not, that does not support the strongest man within that society, the society is bound to crumble. And since now, Tinubu claiming himself to become the strong, to be the strongest man in the society has become our president. What we, the people, or what I will feel is more intelligent for him to do is to lay down the blueprint for the future generations, like what he did in Lagos. This government has promised so many things, obviously. Many of us know about the things this new administration has promised us. So it promised us a lot. But we cannot say because of these pro um, promises that this government is going to be good. But we hope it's good. We hope it to be good, actually. Because no students in Nigeria now, we've wasted so many years at home. The ASU strike, COVID-19, everything. We don't hope for any dilemma again to come up. But this government has said that he promised us that four years in school will be four years. We hope that really come true. Nigeria Nigeria didn't call me, but I didn't go to the house. Nigeria didn't go to the house. I 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 didn't go to the house. Just like Buhari came on board um, 2015 and everybody thought it's going to be the Messiah, make Nigeria better and we all see um, everything that, that went on for the past eight years. So um, this new administration for me, it's, I just, I'll just encourage everyone to like, develop themselves, to acquire skills and make them survive. Judging from his antecedents, some school of thought believe that he should uh, perform better looking at the way he has been able to work with team in time past we believe that if he brings the same knowledge uh, he should be able to perform better as it stands, I believe uh, Nigeria is moving forward currently. They're moving from an old administration to a new administration, an administration that is positive, viral, and dynamic, an administration that is uh, uh, moving for better and is coming to see the light of the day in terms of politics, governance and uh, every facet of the Nigerian economy. A lero ni nuwa kan wakpe itura ni subsidi ti mwa fe yo yo jefu wako ni jenera. So, because um, when we look at the campaign, when we look at the campaign, 
the campaigning uh, period uh, and and how how prepared how prepared he was. We saw that he has been preparing even far far back far back you know many years before before now. Now compared to the previous the, the previous administration, the Buhari uh, led regime, that even I think it, it took it took him about about six months or so five or six months before before he was able to set up his cabinet. But but looking at the campaign the, the campaign ground the campaign period we saw that even during during that, during that time when he was asked about how he's going to tackle the the economic se sector the, uh, the 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 insecurity of the nation we saw that even because he believed according according to him he said he said he, he believed in team in teamship so he delegated some some questions even to to some of those which we believe that will work under his new administration we saw the level of preparedness preparedness you know you know when 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 we, when we had asked question how we going to, to do things so we, we saw we saw the level and we saw the great the great heights of achievement which he, he he was able to achieve in lagos state in lagos state we everybody knew the the state of lagos uh, uh, back in in 1999 before he he, he became the, the, the governor and and when he assumed the office we saw a lot of things which he did you know you know increasing the the high GR of the state and you know better better even now today Lagos State is a major blueprint blueprint for for major for most most um, most states in, in 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 the nation. So we believe, I believe, I believe personally that the Bola Metunubu's uh, uh, regime will be a better one than the uh, Buari Buari regime by God's grace. Thank you. We have all seen what happened under Buari's administration. And we've all been saying online about the survivor certificates, which led to the question if the new administration is going to be better or not. And so far, so good. We've been asking for people's opinion. And left to me, I hope for the best. I remain Shalewa, representing Official Guru TV.